But Linderong is 2-0 and zero in. And they're trying to have both a 4-1 and some pretty strong Steeds with the double AD on the side of the Rocks Tigers. But they are very short of magic. They will toss out the wall. Linderong going to be cut off. Still no flash available. And they'll just go in. They finish him off. Kill going over to Faker. First blood, SKT. Being able to roam from the mid lane with the global. Oh, hello. Plank comes over the wall looking for Mighty Bear. Weaver's wall being rode in. Faker will arrive. And Mighty Bear should go down. Glitterland slows him up. They try to hand it over to Faker, but just have to be a bit more cautious. Make sure he doesn't make it out somehow. So Blank takes the kill. Two on the board now. And bang. Trading up here on the Song Yoon. That's going to be the corrupt chain of corruption coming through. Locks him up. Faker going low. Will live with a slither of HP. Yeah, power it down. Should be able to do so. Linderong, though, could pinch in. It goes low. Will be finished off in time, but can they get the buff? And Tara pushing forward to stop Mighty Bear. Gets the stun off. Baker pushing forward, and Mighty Bear and almost another, another close one for Mighty Bear. That was also blank. I said Antara. Whoops. Baker here to join, though. They're one of the same Speaking at this point. Speaking of Antara. Linderong going to be jumped on. Blank will go down as Mickey arrives. Throws the culling down, but it's straight into the face of a very angry crocodile. And he is yet again on the hunt. Flashes over the wall. Faker following in. He's low on mana. Mighty Bear arriving. Cocoon not going to connect. And Mickey makes it over. The slice and dice. Takes him tower through. But can he get the hit? One more will do it. There we go. Takes him down. Overall, young child. And I can identify that this movie is awful. Cocoon comes through. Wolf going to get locked down. He's just going to burst out as he finishes him off with the hook. But Mighty Bear will fall as Faker arrives. The seismic shove takes him down. Blank leaping in. Trying to finish off Song Yoon. Won't be able to get it, but they should be able to get that tier Faker. 2 Baker! Baker rides in, looking for the kill, but might have been off more than he can chew. Has the Zonias. Try to buy some time, but it's really just a waiting game. He'll die in the end as Mickey just fires one final shot off or up. Bit damning that he actually chose to hook the Renekton and missed. Get a corruption coming through, and Tara gonna get locked down. Wildgrowth comes in, trying to keep him alive, even with the Dominus, but the last turret shot will take him Baker's down. Baker's all alone. Claims the kill. Faker is alone on the side, flanking in, just firing away with the threaded volleys, trying to finish him off. Flashes in to try to get the last hit. Now, Linderong coming back into the fight on, on the backside with that teleport. Might be turning things around here for Rocks. Their trap on a rope comes down. Will pull Bang back in, but he loses Skrull yet again. Seismic shove just shy of it. Blitz Grank, who has a much faster charge time, or cost time, I should say, on the hook. If Linderon can finally start bossing around the Renekton, the answer seems probably yes, and here's also the Lucian. Charge will come through yet again. Bear Trap comes down, and Mickey arrives. As that play of the Rune King ready to go, and Tara trying to trade up the calling, just going to be tickling him from behind. We'll be able to get him in the end. Look, ju like, just for a second, oh, then oh, he, he's smelling it. Blood in the water, finds the hook, drags him back in. Wild Growth not going to be enough, and Blank goes down. Yeah, even with all the traps. Well, I think Faker decided he want to go in. Oh, rides in on the wall, and Faker will be able to go golden, but seems like he is still going to go down. Flashes to the side, but just basically to his inevitable death. Key. And Everyone Mickey flashes. Both coming over the wall, trying to hunt down on the blank. Drops a couple traps and try to lay them ace in the hole out as well. Mickey will eat that one to the face. Another hook comes through, and suddenly Key's on fire. That one was a bit easier. Yeah, it is Mighty Bear. It is the Smite who is now going to die if he tries to contest. Oh, let's put the hook in on to Bang. So much damage out here from Mickey the Wild Growth over the wall. And he actually trades one. Bang flashes into the pit, keeps himself alive. And now the Baron goes over to SK Telecom. Linderung comes in, and it's a double kill over to Song Yoon so far, dismantling the bottom lane of SKT. Baker going low, still pushing them back. Mickey comes forward. Baker jumps to the side, has the Zonias there. Can they stick around for the kill? The answer is going to be no. Mickey will wonder what to make of SKT in this particular match. Is Blank's going to get hooked. Oh, yeah, there we go. Gets locked down. Cocoon comes straight away. Wild Growth's in. He flat jumps to the side. But will still be taken Waves down. They don't have vision of the Blitzcrank. Oh, here he comes. Hook not going to connect. Wolf using that whimsy. Gets himself a little bit more movement speed. And cut into the side. Top. Inner turret does go down as Intara gets that for himself and his squad. Linderong trying to out this Renekton, but it's actually losing this time around. We'll lose Carl, but Mickey is on the way. That's why he wants to commit in, and Nuntara in a bad spot. Identifies this, just wants to try to trade out. Finds it! Swipes his way through with the final Q, and does get the kill in the one key. Ooh, just a frame away from hitting that hook. Nuntara turned onto him bot lane. Pixels away, rather. Nuntara, yeah, does get jumped on, goes dangerously low. The calling comes out. Wild Girl thrown down, and he still will fall over the wall. Mickey finds the kill. Nicely done. Bang. Chunking out Mighty Bear. Separates the team a bit. See how much follow-up there's going to be. Blank leaping forward. Looking for Mighty Bear. Just Dead. absolutely destroys him with the help of Bang. The charge 
used by Linderong as well. They don't have any vision. Rocks give up the Baron, trying to make a play for the Elder Dragon, but like you mentioned, it's a very low value Elder Dragon. If they can even get it, they're gonna start this one up. Do not have a spite. There's a ward right in there. there from SKT. Coming up here in 15 seconds, and SKT are pinching in. Rocks see them in the mid lane. And they are going to go ahead and try to peel back. Do they want to try to cut them off is the question. Faker does not have a Weaver's Wall. Ward comes over. They spot out Mickey. They see the rest of the team leaving. And the Elder Dragon has started up. And this is the most feel-bad moment here for Rocks Tigers. Cannot contest either objective. Will lose out both. Four stack Elder Dragon plus yeah. Baron to S. There you go. Just keep uh, cutting down. Mickey goes That was low. our two autos from yep. the Caitlyn. How the times have changed. I remember when he did no damage, says Mickey, as he runs back to the fountain, desperately trying to stay alive. Doesn't force out the heal at least. But still, SKT going to look to go ahead and close this one out. They have so much pressure. Do they want to stick around? Seems like the idea is just going to be going for the sweep on all three in hips, perhaps. Speaker is rotating his way up there. The rest of the squad posturing forward, keeping these, baron, these minions empowered. Don't have any minions to tank though, so Ben can't really get any auto attacks on the Nexus turrets. Finally, a minion wave starts to crash. Top lane as well, and Song, you know, dear lord. Those take quite a bit of damage. You hear that charge coming through as Linderong comes in from the backside. He did pop the TP. Odara's going to be the recipient of that cocoon and the chain of corruption, but Blank has already deleted key. Calling being fired off here by Mickey, desperately trying to find a kill. Will not be able to do so as Faker takes out Song Yun. Linderong way too far forward will go down in the end, and that's going to be the game going over to SK Telecom. Very delayed, very much a tough one for these guys to close it out, but they do it methodically. They don't overstep their boundaries. They come up with the win, and that's another 2-0 for SKT. And while we wonder how it took quite so long, it was respect from SKT yeah. that caused the